Hmm, is it working? Okay, hi guys and welcome back to uh, Operation Black Angel with our call sign Death Angel. This seems to be only fitting. And uh, yeah, we're back over here. We are continuing to play this game uh, and uh, we're doing pretty well except for the fact that M. Clark has been... Uh, you know, just slightly wounded, but he has the medals to compensate for that, so don't even worry about it. I think we can maybe skip a few days until we get some extra memos and see what's going on. A soldier from your job, I raise and give a detailed account of your shortcomings as a commander. I have no other point but to inform of the chain of command of this serious concern. We can fire him, we can blast him, or we can ignore him. Uh, I think I can do that. It says minus ten percent merit, like straight on. So there's nothing. Uh, there's nothing regarding to the rank. Um, let's try and maybe blast him. I'm not sure exactly sure how good that will work. Uh, apparently D to rescue is currently tasked. I don't really remember doing that. Wait, is who the fuck is? Ah, there you go. I Briggs. Uh, his morale is decent enough, as good as it can be. So it is uh, it is to inform you that the Tusky showed up sick, uh, uh, showed up at a sick bay today, displaying acute symptoms of some sort of tropical disease. We advise he will remain under treatment until his condition improvements. His condition improves. Well, that's great. Resky is uh, our medic is sick, you know. Talking about irony, ironic cases, but you know. To rescue, are you back now? Oh my god, what's going on? Found I Briggs passed out in the ditch behind the shacks. Obviously drunk his skull on the amount of vomit and urine. Briggs, this is getting really, really annoying. Uh, we can try and address this. And try and ignore him. But this is the second time it's going on. Uh, you know what, I'm going to take decisive action, Briggs, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to fire you from the LRRP. There's no, no not, nothing that we can do about it, I'm sorry. Uh, Jay Hall seems to have come back from his uh, uh, stealth training course, so uh, we can have him tasked uh, at our team. And also, Dresky seems to have finally recovered from his disease, and therefore this will be our uh, team... Uh, not really, I mean, the stealth is good, but this guy is better, so I think it will be like this. And J. Hulse will be as a reserve. Now, the problem here, and the way, the reason I'm hesitating and doing all this organizational stuff is because we have, like, some some of the most, like, ridiculous hard mission. Screen get, dead drop, and breach are all, like, very hard and very dangerous missions, so... I I don't know, I don't really feel like doing it, so I think I'll just brief the main body and try to generate one extra mission for 10 intel. So I press the button, there's some weird things, and yes, our intel dropped, and yes, we have a new mission, a defend mission. Haha, <laughs> isn't that better? Uh, it's pretty hard this one as well, but I guess it's better than this one. I don't know, unless it got changed. I, 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 at least defend missions I've done and I've, like, finished before. So I think I'm going to go with that. Um, oh my god, we just don't know anything about this. Uh, this one, this one is nasty guys on the border of Laos and the DMZ. There is a small shithole called Firebest Juliet 39er. It has changed hands numerous times. Apparently, the RRVN abandoned the outpost without telling anyone. It is to become a VC stronghold. Their team is to quickly get in and break their advance until the relief force comes in. Okay, what do you know about the enemy force? The death of militia. Okay, I, I think that's good enough to go. I want to keep the rest of my intel. Alright. I think everyone is at their full skill potential. Alright, uh, this is it, this is the medic, this is the combat guy, so, uh, alright, and let's not forget to give these guys the Ho Chi Minh sample these times. Alright, and we also have the new, the new revolutionary uh, grenade, which I'm really curious to try out, so, uh, you instead of your claymore, how about you take out this new uh, uh, S -S CS grenade out for a ride. Should be good enough, I think. And I completely forgot to turn down the volume a little bit. This is fucking loud. There we go. 
should be at the very least a little bit better. I'll probably edit it uh, to be a bit even quieter. But it's now or never, so let's go! And hey, this time, compared with last time, we can use the radio, you know. We'll no longer have the issue with, like, not being able to use the radio. There we go. This is something. Alright, the sea trap went in right away. It's uh, proof of the top spec radio signal that we have in this uh, region. And I think... Okay, we have found the firebase, so let's move straight into it and assume positions. Burlog is on his way to give us a quick um, round up of whatever he can see. We're going to get in, grab the intel, and assume defensive positions all around our all around the perimeter. And we'll uh, have the grenade up for um, what we could do before we do before we get in and grab stuff. We could try and call in the cobras to defend us. Gunship support. Wait for uh, before we do that. I want to see what Bird Dog has for us. Negative result on that pass. Okay, gunship support. Are you available? I cannot hear the random static. So, gunship support. I repeat. Are you available? Where the fuck is the last guy? Is is anyone going to answer this? Oh, he was behind the trees. Okay, let's go for high output. Gunship support! I need it! Okay, I'll pop a smoke in 19 seconds, okay? Let's get in. I don't know exactly where they'll be coming from, so I think I'll just have to throw a smoke grenade somewhere. Okay, no smoke found. So though he will engage a wheel, but now we'll need to be able to defend the vanguard by reaching the center of the base. Okay, let's just pop some smoke grenades. Okay, that should be one. And medic guy, toss one over there. There we go. And you'll be ready to use that new grenade. I want to try it out. Okay, they are coming in. I hope the cobra will also come back. Okay, where did you see it? Ah, shit, they're coming from the south. Alright, weapons free. Everyone is free to engage of will. Engage of will. Oh, shit, they come. Grenade! Whoa, watch out! Ah, shit! Medic guy! Keep firing! Don't let them get any closer! Wow, did you two guys just really jam your weapons at the same time? What are the odds? Cleaning out! Oh god damn it, it failed to stabilize him. Come on now! Come on, Tesky, I need you! He's really... Okay, he's gonna be okay. Keep it up, boys! Wow, this grenade was pretty cool over here. Yeah, be careful on the crossfire. We will need to grab this guy because he's the radio guy, so... I cannot leave this one behind. Okay, we have managed to do the mission. So, medic guy, go right ahead, carry him, and let's get out of here. That is so cool, and it just goes right above your head. Whoa, okay. I think the Cobra is leaving. Okay, no intel over there. You can go really quickly and check over here. Oh, look at this. There was there was an N NVA over here leading the assault. Cool. Keep on moving. Still no intel. Man, there is was absolutely no intel over here. And this fucking music when you win is so hilarious. Oh my god, it's going to take so long for the fucking 
guy with Tereski to move all the way to the LZ. And it's a close distance, I mean, uh, we didn't lose him like over here or over here or somewhere, you know, it's relatively close, but yeah. I would really like to have the idea of like stretchers to be implemented. You know, they have, do you have the disadvantage, you know, you do have to equip, uh, use an equipment slot on one of your guys as a stretcher and you do have to use two guys to carry a dude instead of one. But... This is King India Niner, we are now vector over your area for three hours. Cool, Thals. Hostiles, light them up! Oh my god, you just one shot it. They seem to be in our uh, LZ, so I want you two guys who are still hey, healthy yeah, and in this, good condition to go ahead and clear the area. So that uh, cover. Watch my these guys can, Take you know, to rescue can, uh, you know, arrive here safely together with the injured guy. It's gonna be a pretty short mission, but. Um. It was pretty, pretty intense. We gotta reposition, let's move! And there's no cover me, cover me. much point in covering that. And we did try the CS grenade, and it was really cool. It seemed to do some sort of smoke when it popped, so. Was it some sort of like. I would assume chemical grenade, I'm not exactly sure. Okay, we are slowly dragging ourselves over to here. So I guess Tereski can tell the radio dude to grab his radio. I must put him down, that is so annoying. Okay, is everyone in position? Watch that. I'm on it. Oh my god, you just keep leaving tracks and more tracks. You see, I've not managed to make a fix on the high value target. I've been playing for quite a while now. I should check the forums, I have really not read the forums in like position. two months, so I don't know exactly what the things that have been happening. That they are, okay, uh, I need you to stop carrying the guy. I hope he's stabilized. The condition is critical, but stable. Okay, I need you to go right on ahead and request the dust off at the main LZ. On. Well, sign came in under contact and had to pull off your AO. Stand by while we are in route. Well, that's not very pleasant. Try and cover this area. And you try and cover this area. So we have all angles covered off. Shit, there's more VCs coming. Guys, we'll need that extraction like right away if possible. Ah, oh, god fucking damn it, Bandit Echo Niner, this is serious! I don't have infinite medical supplies, can we at least like order a medical evac? There we go, we got contact! Careful! Also, the two guys like jamming their weapons at the same time, I was almost thinking that we got fucked there, like right on spot. No way out. How the fuck he keeps screaming, it's so hilarious. Large enemy force moving across your AO, give us time to move around and call back. Yeah, it does sound like a large enemy force. So... Ah shit, he's in a critical condition and bleeding out. We need more stabilizing power. Ah shit, we failed, come on. I only have one more IV left, so I don't want to use there. it. Okay, the dressing worked. Hey, cover my six! I'm moving! Moving up! Taking that is around. very good. What we need to keep trying over here. If it doesn't work, I'll be forced to call a medical evac. Lost your bird. Let me track it down. Come on. I don't think I've ever called for a medical evac, so that will be a new thing. Request to answer your request, stay off the means. Mm. Can we call for a secondary one and pop a smoke grenade at the LZ? Uh, it seems that I cannot. Mm. Well, that already responded, but it didn't, like, right up there. That's still an issue that's, you know, happening from time to time. 
Okay, there has been no news for the VCs, even though they did detect us after firing upon them. God damn, man. Like, they just do not want to get us. I think it's because Tureski is actually trying to call in because the medic, uh, the radio guy is injured and he doesn't have the communication skills at all. So, yeah. Losing a team member is always nasty, like... Uh, especially a like high-ranking one, but losing the radio guy is almost like suicidal. We just have to keep trying. Okay, uh, he is on the route. Finally, Jesus. Okay, grab him up. I'm out over here. Ah, shit! Right now. Okay, I think we are out of dressings. Shit! God damn it! Don't die now. Yeah, we are out of dressing, so how about this IV? This one is out, so we only have one IV left. I mean... Okay, we successfully stabilized him. Grab him up. Alright, be ready. We need to get out, and we need to get out fast. Hmm. Okay, there are no movers in the area. That's usually good news, but we can hear the Hui firing in the distance. Which is not that good, you know. Good things. Oh my god, look at all the dressings and IV bags on the floor. I mean, on the grass there. As, the, as we keep trying to stabilize him. It's also a possibility for him to down the chopper. If he's at really low HP. Okay, it seems to be over here. Come on. And we go. Let's get out of here. A clean extraction and a clean mission. Firebase is overran. Extract before main body gets to your location. Ah, god damn it. They made it to the center. I thought we hold it off for long enough. Ah, that's stupid. I didn't think they, they could get to it afterwards. And yeah, now they're firing from it. <laughs> and we're firing back. Yeah, indeed, the main force is coming towards the base, but we captured it for, like, long enough to, uh, I think, we could be, be considered a successful mission. So it should be uh, over. Yeah, it was a mission successful. Uh, right. Eight spots. I think the same amount of kills. Uh, not too much coverage because we had a pretty straightforward mission. Not too much still because we did engage a wheel right away. And uh, we got a uh, winning strike of plus 10%. 10 successful missions in a row. Got a purple heart medal which obviously goes to the uh, wounded guy. And we have the medal of honor who will go to none other than to rescue for being able to rescue the radio guy. Make your Preval proud. And we got a new ribbon over here. Advanced Recon Operation. When we have 10 uh, patrols that have been com successfully completed. Right. Basic Operation. Honorable Conduct. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. And now I see still this bug over here. Uh, poor, uh, poor Clark, man. He's a 7. Hell, that was pretty rough. And he'll be out of action for a really long time. The, the, by informants that the VC operational posture has been increasing, increased significantly. VC troops seem to be better fed and be better trained. Expect an increase of 3% in their survivability. Mm. That is, uh, yeah. That is not that great, but we'll have to de deal with it, basically. And we also have an attack mission right afterwards. That will be an Operation Greenstorm. Now, how about an attack mission right after the defense mission? This one is even, like, easier. We just have to, like, locate the base and just wait outside of it and just call air support on them and just wail on them with, like, fucking airstrikes and artilleries and cobras and stuff like that. And at the end, if there's anyone left, like, breathing, we just come in and, like, you know, just kill them off. But, yeah, we'll have to, like, uh, do something with Clark, unfortunately. But that will have to wait until next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Leave a like and a favorite as always. Helps a lot, and I'll see you next time. What I'm going to make. Bye bye.